When studying history over the course of a school year, it is next to impossible to cover every major event and personality in detail. In order to get a better understanding of some topics and the people involved, it is necessary to study the topics exclusively. For example, one of the newest electives at Frisco High School is African American Studies. In U.S. history or world history, you can't really focus on a single ethnic group such as African Americans or even um, Mexican Americans when, when that ethnic studies class comes out. So it's designed to just kind of give African Americans an idea of what, um, how we've progressed throughout history from Africa to present day. Because oftentimes we just hear about like Rosa Parks or Martin Luther King in this class are designed to just go beyond just those central figures, not lessen their importance, but talk about some other people who also were instrumental in helping America be the country that it is today. Students who have been a part of this first class are glad they signed up. I've honestly learned to appreciate my history more. Um, being able to discuss topics that are not commonly discussed in our regular history classes is honestly a privilege um, and being able to apply that to my everyday knowledge has become um, an everyday factor for me. Something that I really enjoy about this class is that we're able to just come in and discuss topics about African American history and it's a really safe space for us to do that and we get to learn a lot about our culture and we have an awesome teacher, Mr. Smith. Um, he's honestly more like our friend rather than a teacher and we feel really comfortable discussing a lot of things with him. Um, I just like how we can have open conversations about you know, the goods and the bads. I really like that and I just like how we can share anything and won't be judged for it and share our opinions and won't be judged for it. Uh, some things I learned in this class are uh, we figured out who the richest man, um, the richest African man was and uh, I've also learned just like the complete culture of African Americans because uh, and everything that they actually did go through because in every history class you don't get the depths of it like it's it's very deep and it's just it's just a lot to learn. Students are immersed into topics that are often only covered briefly in many history courses. One of my favorite topics that we discussed in African American studies was about Sojourner Truth's poem, Ain't I a Woman? Uh, we were able to craft our own poems and responses. We were able to talk about the things that we are comfortable with about ourselves. We were able to describe ourselves and present that to each other. I was surprised to learn that not only February is Black History Month, but also that Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass's birthdays collided. That's how they made the um, Black History Week, and then eventually turned into a month, and that month is really important to me because it's also my birthday, so I feel really special about it. <laughs> So I've learned a lot of really interesting facts about African Americans and our history, but something that really surprised me was that a lot of the foods that are now eaten predominantly by black people, that stems from slavery. Some of the things I enjoy most, I enjoy the family-oriented uh, feeling there, like everybody's really cool, they're very welcoming, and like he's gonna make the class interesting. You're not gonna feel like, it's, it's not gonna be a stressful class, but you're gonna learn at the same time and you're gonna enjoy it. Well, one thing I hope that the students will get is just like, like an appreciation for understanding what everything that the African Americans have brought to this country, the, the, not just the culture, not just um, the fight for civil rights or things like that, just understanding how in part the African American role and the African American experience helped play the role into where we are today as a country and we continue to make strides and continue to continue to improve um, things in this country. If you are looking for a course that will challenge your knowledge, surprise you with new information, and make learning fun, you need to ask your counselor about the African American Studies class. Mexican American Studies will also be available soon. You have until April 15th to complete your fall schedule and everyone from 10th to 12th grade are welcome. For RCC TV, I'm Jordan Ryan.